So, brand new camera, I got the Canon G7X. This thing is absolutely amazing. I'm going to take some footage of my man Nick working out today. Real quick, what we're gonna do, we're gonna warm him up. I have uh, my whiteboard right over here. He'll do the warm up, then we're gonna do strength. It's gonna be clean and press. He had a rib out last week, so I don't wanna do the jerk, just so we don't re-injure the rib. We're gonna steadily get back to it, so we'll do a clean plus a press. We're gonna do um, two sets of five, two sets of three, and then two sets of heavier singles. Front squat, five by five, working up each set. Then we're gonna do barbell rows, keg lunges, kettlebell swings and uh, some rope climbs with a finisher with a sled and some battle rope. His goals are to lose body fat as well as maintain or gain strength over time. Priority though being try to get as lean and mean and become a strength machine as possible. So stay with us. just witnessed in the video when Nick dropped the kettlebell is his rib popped out. And I think that was due to clean, so the compression of when you catch the clean and the stress that it puts on the rib cage. As a weightlifter, that happens to me almost every time I compete. The severity of it depends, but when you have a load and you're dropping it on top um, and you're out of position or you don't have a solid breath, puts the rib out of place. And if you've ever had that before, it is one of the most painful things ever. One time I thought I was having a heart attack when really my rib was just out of place. So send him over to the chiropractor right now, get a quick adjustment, should be back to normal, back training tomorrow. Take care of yourselves if you ever have an injury or an ailment and train through it. Don't take off for a long period of time, that's worse. Now it's time for me to work out. What I'm gonna do is pull-ups, barbell rows, dumbbell row, dumbbell side raises, bent over rear delt raises, uh, curls, and some shrugs. So it's gonna be pretty much back day, essentially. Uh, and then we'll do some cardio at the end. Yeah, one day, I'ma make it out. It ain't hard to tell it one day. I'ma make a million, my mama tell me don't spend it all in one place. But I'm trying to ball, so don't hold me back. I'm like 12 and 0. Lost it all to go find myself. Can't commit, you might lose control. I tried way too hard to be liked. Spent way too much of my clothes. Swear way too much of my days and nights. Was spent chasing after these. Now these girls chase me, but I let them go. Y'all went downhill, gotta let them roll. Got a fine ass chick and a brand new whip. I don't need y'all shit, gotta let them know. Gotta ah. let all right, so I absolutely love rows. Dumbbell rows, bent over rows, barbell rows, you name it. Rows are just a great way to get super strong and pack on muscle. Say what you want but don't call me crazy. I'm still twice the man that my father made me. And my competition still losing sleep. Meanwhile y'all counting sheep. Thinking back where I left it at Swear to God we were set with that To the top we were set to go Not once did I question that Now I'm stuck in my own damn head Swear my thoughts is my only threat Boarding flights to some brand new heights Couple years I might own that jet Taking off in this place I've been Won't stop now, can't box me out Felt like I was up on a ledge And they tried but they just couldn't talk me down Had to do it myself Had to do it myself but what's a setback to a real one? I'm not yay, I don't need your help Gotta know this life ain't what it seems Tryna chase these dreams at 23 Gotta find out what it's worth to you Gotta find out what it's worth to me Can't stick to the script cause it ain't my thing I'ma fight till I find what works for me I know ain't shit changed, gotta find my way Can't let y'all write this verse for me But I gotta get back to Woo! the Alright, so that was the strength portion of the workout Unfortunately, my friends I have to do cardio but I'm gonna do it that's what it takes to be champion. 
say what you want, but don't call me crazy. I'm still twice the man that my father made me. And my competition still losing sleep. Meanwhile, y'all counting sheep. Say what you want, but don't call me crazy. I'm still twice the man that my father made me. And my competition still losing sleep. Meanwhile, y'all counting sheep. Say what you want, but don't call me crazy. Just got done doing a 20 minute straight up AMRAP of five pull ups, 10 push ups, 15 body weight squats, and then I row 20 calories. I got uh, eight rounds, kept my rowing split the exact same each time, which was, uh, which was good for me. It made me happy, but I am dying. I'm sweating. 20 minutes is just enough to get the hormone stress response we're looking for, uh, to keep building muscle and not tear anything down so we're just working anabolically right now and not catabolically getting as many gains as possible so here i am at the wegmans I had so many memories here as a kid, it's not even funny. I did the gallon challenge with milk here and puked my brains out, out back, and I probably have had over thousands of dollars in meals here, and that's where I grocery shop. So, what you just saw in the, the video before was what I got for uh, lunch, and that was salmon. I got a cup of rice and Brussels sprouts. So, the protein is the salmon, and I try to say six to seven ounces for the vegetable Brussels sprout and my carbs is gonna be the rice. Did a little bit extra carbs because I did an hour of strength plus 20 minutes of intense cardio. So I think I earned it. What right now I'm drinking, uh, I got by uh, Wakiki coconut lime. So delicious stuff, super low on calories. Uh, there's only five calories and uh, I think it's, it's good. So it kind of just gives me that craving of uh, almost like a soda, but it's not. Okay, so just wanna answer a couple basic nutrition questions. The first one is make sure for guys, get a gallon of water in every single day, and then for girls, about three quarters of a gallon every single day. That's gonna help make sure that you're hydrated, flush out any toxins. We wanna to eliminate sugar, okay? Processed food, and just anything that's garbage. Junk food, soda, you don't want any of that crap in your system. So try to eat as clean as possible. In terms of protein, you wanna get one gram per pound of body weight. So if I'm 220 pounds, I want 220 grams of protein in throughout the day. Now if I do that you know, in five or six meals, you just divide that by your five or six meals and that's how much protein you need per meal. Easy way to know too how to count it, for every ounce of meat that you eat, there's seven grams of protein per ounce. So a seven ounce chicken breast has 49 grams of protein. Uh, the other best thing is just get a scale, weigh your meat out, and go by ounce. In terms of carbs, I like to make sure that I get about 30 to 35 grams, maybe even 40 depending on the workout after, and then 35 or 40 before, and then the remainder of that percentage, just divvy it up through the rest of my meals. After I work out, I never have fats. I mostly just have protein, vegetables, and carbs, which you guys just saw. So those are just some basic staples for nutrition that really help me maintain lean muscle, not put on any fat, uh, and still be able to get strong. Yeah, I, bud. What? No, lay down. <laughs> Every time I see Kai, she pisses herself. I don't know if it's my fault, but I hope I don't have that effect on, uh, you know, my future girlfriend, because <laughs> that'll be a problem. Now I'm heading back to work to train a client, and then I have the boot camp tonight. And then it will be a wrap for the end of this vlog. So let's go, let's finish this day.
right guys, so here at Wegmans again, trying to get my grub for tomorrow. I got some organic eggs, as well as some natural uh, chicken sauces for the morning, and two big things of uh, spinach so far. Nothing too crazy tonight. Organic bananas, I got mango kombucha, just a ton of eggs, chicken sausages, organic, half and half. I'm trying to reduce how much coffee I drink and when I put it in my coffee. So typically if you're putting in a lot of creamer, it's a lot of added sugar and a lot of extra calories. So half and half, I think it's like 30 calories. Put in one tablespoon of that and then I'll add maybe a little bit of stevia until I completely get off of creamer and sugar. Just for the record, I find it absolutely ridiculous how much organic food is. They're literally just trying to kill us and make us pay extra money for being healthy. 